This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Happy Democracy Day to you as we celebrate years of democracy in Nigeria. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have my very interesting co anchors with me, Nimi Dekombi and Ife Olua Oshunke. Yes, that's me. I'm good. Such a vibe killer. Why? That's me. I know. It's so repetitive. So predictable. Get used to it. Get used to it. Moving on to the story, singer Oxlade recounts how he was allegedly harassed by police officers in Lagos State. According to him, um, okay, so this was brought to the public by the, is it taxi driver Uber? I don't even know, one of them. Yeah, and he said, when he now came out and was recounting, he, <clears throat> oh. he said that, uh, okay, let's see, okay, it's both. He said that they were asking him what he's doing with Skype on his phone. That's the first, that the that first ridiculousness. Virtual. Secondly, internet. what was the second thing? Is that the they were searching for fraud. Uh, dollars. dollars. They searched to see if there was anything called dollars, in his chat. And first, I want to start from the place where their orgasm will always come on social media to tell us that they do not have the right mm -hmm. to search your phone. That's one. Secondly, is it a crime to have a conversation around dollars now? Like, so you, they never, they don't expect that any young Nigerian would ever do a thing that would end up being transacted in, in foreign currencies. I, I don't understand. And the Skype one is the one that I, they were so oh, off me. <laughs> I was just, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I understand the fact that um, our security agencies are trying as much as they can to crack down on fraud in huh. the country. Amazing. But especially when people like um, them hush up the opportunity. Exactly, yeah, especially with that kind of um, situation. But the truth is, there are legit hardworking Nigerians Making who have money. clients who would have dollars in their WhatsApp, and it doesn't mean that they are fraud stars. And again, Oxlade is a singer. I thought that they would be able to recognize him and like know who he is. No, so I was surprised. He's still, he's still fire. Uh -huh. He's still upcoming. Uh -huh. still fire. <laughs> I, don't even, I can't even recognize him if I see him. No, 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 I, I, can, I will recognize him. I'm a human being. Him. I have the right not to be able to recognize him. Why are you making it look like I've done something terrible? It's Oxlade. It's because not he's spoken about face. him severally not so, to recognize him. Yeah, and I like one of his songs, away, so I can recognize him. So I was actually surprised. And again, it just shows you that this experience is not really restricted to just maybe um, normal or average Nigerians, even celebrities. And I even think a lot of celebrities yeah. too are also, you know, suffering the effect. I think it was Ricardo Banks too that had a similar experience mm. with the police. I'm not sure, but I know that there has been a story of another celebrity Dr. that was harassed a lot, a lot by, of by the police. So I, I don't know. I feel like we need to start talking about police reforms and it has We've been to, talking about it now. I, I mean, actually, should we, we have actually been, to give we have actually been talking about I think now we should reforms. just... So we need more... I don't know how you guys want us to talk about it again. No? <laughs> Ask her, because she said we should start. I don't know. Until we need to you need my tongue on the table. We need to protest. Go out to the streets exactly. and protest. Action speaks louder than what I think. Just like they are doing in the US. I think it has gotten to the point where we should mm -hmm. take action. But True. in this place where we have trigger happy policemen, exactly. the that's moment, the problem. Yeah, that's why people are scared to even protest because if you go out there, they probably it's will just start shooting for no reason. They can kill all the protesters. And I have no doubt about yeah. that. And it's very sad because, like, I was going but through... But if I you know blood, sweat, and tears... Yes. Yeah. You <laughs> you have, you've actually said that before. You have to sacrifice <laughs> for Nigeria, for a good cause. Can't you just sacrifice for <laughs> If I have people that will go protest. with me, come on. If you but have The people that will come with me. What? That's what a lot of saying. people will go, especially in this... So, I, uh, okay, I thought you were saying I should march alone. No, no. No, no, of course, people will go with you. There are people from the grassroots to up high yeah, above I the think, best I think that, that's a good idea, you. actually. Maybe I'll start working on it. So, at least instead of just knowing you for that's me, guy, we know you are someone who did something. Who did something, that thing, guy. Important. Yeah, I actually wanted to say that I, I was watching videos of like protests in the olden days in Nigeria, and there were a lot of Nigerians that came out in mass to right. protest. Is that in the olden days? Sounded weird. <laughs> say from no, the like, past. From the past, like before I was born. So I saw videos of, of you know people. <laughs> 
It is before I was born now. In the olden days. So I saw them protesting and, and it, it, it was something that, it was very interesting for me because I've never seen something like that where a lot of mm. people are protesting and we are not hearing that, oh, somebody was killed, people were murdered during the protest. I wish that something like that can happen again without people fearing for their lives and thinking that, oh, if we go out to protest, we are going to be gone down on the streets. So take us back to the olden days, please. Mm -hmm. Mm. I just, I'll say what I've been saying before. It's just more stressful to say it, especially when you said it over and over again. Yeah. They Goodbye. need to train these people. And but we won't get tired. I think that's their plan. They want us to get tired she, of speaking. They need, but they need you some, won't win. They need a level we will of keep exposure. Because what he was complaining about is just so ridiculous. So like, ridiculous. You're, you're asking me why do I have Skype Guess on my what? phone. You see, that's why I have them. Zoom on my phone, right? And then you're asking, you're and searching, during you pick up my pandemic. phone and search for dollars. You will arrest me. But guess what? One. A lot of them actually know the right thing to do, a but lot? they just want... That's a stretch, fam. No, a lot of... They do. They Trust actually me. To they, they just want to get money. Stretch. They don't. No, this they do. They want money. If, what they want uh, Yes, is, they want money, but want, there is a high level of ignorance playing in their act actions. Of course, I doubt... So I don't doubt that. a lot that. is a stretch. No, a lot. A few of them are the ones... Look, I, I, in every sector, we have bad eggs, and I think... Um, the bad egg no, let me explain. In much. every sector, you have bad eggs, but in the police department or the Nigerian police force, we have good eggs. So let, that's the difference. So they are Try generally bad. More bad eggs than they are. So they are generally eggs. bad. So not, people are more afraid of the police than they are of armed robbers these days. Do you know that? Because there are policemen who are extorting people. Okay. I still read a story recently of somebody that a policeman stopped them and, and took them to the ATM to withdraw 500k. So. Make and it make sense. Do you know what? They don't learn. Okay, now I think I'm going to agree with the um, level of exposure and ignorance that plays with them because they would still give out their account numbers for you to transfer. They would yeah. still follow you to the ATM where the ATM machine will capture their faces. It doesn't make any sense. And, you know, things no, like that. No, they don't. They don't. They've stopped giving um, account details now because they know that can be traced back to them. So they actually follow you to the ATM where you can withdraw and give them cash. But that's I heard some of them now carry and you're the POS. You're a police officer. That is wrong. That's daylight like like um, Can you Actually, imagine? All you have to do is just swipe your card. And what's the, the difference between <coughs> police The only and conclusion criminals? from this story is that sorry to us, lead, and we'll keep talking and hoping that our police will be reformed. And this us, lead thing, I did not see any picture. I did not see anything. I don't know if it was. No, he didn't say he was okay. beaten. He was just picked. When up the when the boat, when, when the boat driver, guy about it. carried his phone to tweet about it, he did not even take one picture to show us that something is happening. No, he just came to tag the tone that they carry somebody. So and then feel like later that one came. I don't know what they are doing. But whatever it is, whatever it is, it doesn't change the fact that it's this is a serious. It is. Yeah, yeah, that this cool. is a serious thing that we have to look into, and mm. we will not be tired of talking. We we will keep to talking. No, we will. We will. We are marching. No Sorry, guys. No tea time on Monday as we will be on the streets of Lagos okay. marching against. There will police. be tea time without if you watch. <laughs> 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 okay, let's move on to the next story. Ghanaian singer Becca has weighed in on the drama between Ghanaian dance hall artists and um, that's when Dishe and Accra FM presenter Nana Romeo taking to her Twitter page. Becca says harassing a female in the industry will never be condoned. She tweeted, and I quote, I can be quiet on many things, but not this. The attitude from Accra FM host Nana Romeo is absolutely unacceptable, and he needs to urgently apologize to Wendy and Kiddy immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This guy is very annoying. I didn't even know it was the same guy with the Kiddy thing. Nana Romeo. Yeah, so it's apparently the same guy. So I think he's just as... This behavior, it's it's a part of him, and I don't know why they're not checking him. You get, like, they need to check him. Whoever owns the radio station needs to check him. Like, maybe you can't be doing that. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't say that. Maybe it's just time for the him level to of just... and unprofessionalism is, it's too much. I feel like it is time for... Don't give them, them ideas, please. We don't want but to... But I think he needs to give them, them ideas. ideas. And I don't think this should end at Becca putting out this tweet because there is a high possibility that that is where it's going to end. Um, this is the kind of thing where I expect to see. I know it, you can say it's small, it's mundane, but harassing... I think... You know I said it on this table. Was it yesterday we talked about it or the day before yesterday? That it is actually sexual harassment, yes, the way it's played out. And I don't think we should sit down or they in Ghana should just let it slide. Let every celebrity who has a it's voice sexual. no no it is if you're uh, telling me that you have you evidence skin questions about sexual it, harassment it is sexual for me 
<laughs> Maybe um, um, when Dishay needs to come out to say she didn't feel sexually harassed, she just felt harassed. But telling me that you have evidence of my affair with somebody over and over again on your phone, on saying air. you can show it to that me. That you have evidence. I mean, I don't know what is that sexual? is. Uh -uh. The undertones, sexual. it has a sexual But undertone. anyway, whether it's, let's, let, let's uh. let that go anyway, since you say it's not sexual, but <laughs> me, I said it's sexual. Yeah. I'm just saying that this is the point where they need to raise their voice to actually tell him to apologize or do he, their A-list artist should actually stay yeah, away should, from should that show. Because this is, is, it's now looking like he's using them for publicity stunts and he's getting get famous. attention yeah. to himself and he's getting and, and i agree and that I every that stunt makes feeling. sense but not this type you are embarrassing people on yeah. live radio yeah and, and i'm sure it's because it got away with sorry go on yeah i wanted to say that um i've noticed this thing especially when it comes to female celebrities i feel like they're always the ones who suffer from this kind of embarrassing interviews whether it is in nigeria whether it is, it is in ghana worst. from embarrassing interviews who, who are the people women Yes, okay. female celebrities. Because like when I watched the when the Shea interview, I was like, nah, I've seen something like this before. They are constantly asked stupid questions that you could have a male co um co star, for instance, if you are doing a movie a movie interview, you could have a male co star with you and they would ask the guy sensible questions, but you they'll be asking you stupid you questions like fine. what are you wearing? Or did, did you like it doesn't make when any you sense. Kissed him, when you kissed him, how did you feel? And you would ask the guy questions like how did you connect with your character something something? And then the lady they will be asking her very, very silly questions. So I feel like it's kind of like sexism in the entertainment mm. industry, they feel like for the male celebrities, they need to do their in-depth work, do their research, and then for the women, it's like they're just asking flimsy, unnecessarily stupid I totally agree. questions that don't even make sense. Like, we are not even interested in knowing that about her. Let's know more. Like, the questions you asked the guy, let's know, let's know that about the, the female artist. So that's just how I felt. I felt like it was sexist We're to her. sorry. <laughs> 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 then um, I'm also sure um, this guy, after I did that with Kitty, maybe he felt he could go on could and on with, with that it. type yeah, of attitude. Actually. Like, but I think it needs to be checked. It needs to be checked without getting fired, though. Mm. Maybe shout out to Becca design. for standing up yeah, for yeah, true. You know, women supporting women. Yeah, tea time continues right after this very short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. music is for mature-minded people. Like, I got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, what? Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. J.K. Rowling has broken her silence as she responds to transphobic accusations. The controversy began when she commented on a story with a headline that read, quote, creating more equal post-COVID-19 world for people who menstruate, end of quote. Now, taking issues with the phrasing, J.K. wrote, people who menstruate, I'm sure there used to be a word for these people. Um, someone help me out, end of quote. Her remark was immediately hit with a lot of backlash, with many calling the writer transphobic and explaining that it is um, not just cisgender women who menstruate. That's news to me. Now, uh, this prompted JK to post again. I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It isn't hate to speak the truth. I respect every trans person to write to live any way they feel authentic and comfortable to them. I'd match with you if you were discriminated against on the bias of being trans. Um, at the same time, my life, 
has been shaped by being female. I do not believe it's hateful to say so. So, of course, this generated a lot of conversation. Some even hinted that we should cancel some of her works and all that. And in her response, which took a while, a lengthy post she shared on her website, she revisited her past with permission from her daughter, opened up on being abused and sexually harassed, then went on to say, and I quote, so I want trans women to be safe. At the same time, I do not want to make natal girls and women less safe. When you throw open the doors of bathrooms and changing rooms to any man who believes or feels he is a woman, and as I have said, gender confirmation certificates may now be granted without any need for surgery or hormones, then you open the door to any and all men who wish to come inside. That is the simple truth. End of quote. Girl. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of reaction is that? <laughs> oh, girl. I, I want Nimi to go first before I speak on this one. Okay. Um, somehow, I'm torn. Me? I'm supporting JK on this one. I know you. Because you on this table, I have her. said it, that I'm not in support of this gender-neutral restroom or whatever we are heading into because I will not be comfortable being in a space that's supposed to be the restroom for a female. I mean, that's how I was brought up. And then a man is coming in and I have to now comport myself. You know what I admire the most the about her? Please, I don't understand it. Sorry, one. And secondly, um, also, I like what she said about taking away the authenticity of we who are cisgender, let me use the term that is, is supposed to use, cisgender, and um, also being able to talk about being female, menstruating. I, I, I need to go back to check because I don't understand why they said it's not just cisgender people that menstruate. Yeah, because trans They now men. menstruate. Trans men menstruate. Trans men. Yeah. Explain that. You know, trans men is you know, formerly female, so you still have like female... Well, well they were um, cisgender at some point before they became trans men. I mean, yeah, so, yeah, so when they are trans men, they still menstruate. And that's why you see some trans men, they are able to have like babies. Like you see a man that is pregnant because they still have their... It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> but all I'm saying... <laughs> What I'm saying is, we'll I get what she's coming from, and I feel I'm not transphobic. Oh, well, if that's what transphobic big, at least I know I'm not homophobic. But transphobic, I don't know about that. I'm just saying that these conversations need to be revisited. Maybe we should have a male and then a female toilet and then the one in between. If you are comfortable, that's how you is, can go in. Cases. But no, what they really have is male. What we used to have is male, female, and then the, the, for the one for disabled, yeah. right? So if we get what they're saying is they just want one where you have male, female, and everybody, and then the disabled. I'm saying maybe it has to become four. So. Uh, the disabled male women and if you think you can deal with anything Trans. and your mental health can work for you because you put need to consider our own mental health as well it's not just about you, how you feel or what you think about you being accepted we are working hard to accept you and i think it's what everybody should do you need to accept everybody but also consider our own feelings as well yeah so um the reason why i said i was stunned is because i understand jk's arguments mm -hmm. But I also understand the trans people's arguments. It's, it's very, very difficult and it's very, very hard when you're living in a world where constantly your identity is being um, debated, your if you should exist. Some people say that you have a mental problem, you have this. So I understand that for someone like J.K. Rowling, who has a huge platform, it can feel like she's questioning their identity. I think that that is where the backlash she is coming wasn't. from. She wasn't. She's just speaking as a woman. But like, when I read um, the statement that she put out, I understood where she was coming from. Saying that people who menstruate is a little bit of a far stretch because we are women. Of course women. And, we you know, are. I saw some comments that they were like, trans women are women and all of that. I understand where all of that is coming from. But... That's why I said I'm really, really torn. When so it comes even if to you trans, understand that angle, right? Yeah. You said a, a woman um, who used to menstruate, right? Yes. Or a, someone who used to be a woman a now trans becomes man a man. Can still menstruate. Is there no way to help with the surgery so they won't? Yeah, die for anymore? for some people, when they they don't have like a total reconstructive yeah. surgery, that's why you see that there are some trans women who still have their genitals, like their uh, former or uh, original genitals, and then you see that there are trans men who still have their former. Um, you understand what That's I'm trying cool. to say? They, they do not change their... For them all, they just please, look let's, male. Let's also make room for cisgenders. That's all. Yeah. In my opinion, what I like about J.K. Rowling's um, response to all of this is that an apology still like, I'm sorry, but I'm still not sorry. Mm -hmm. That's what I admire about it. And she gave you with facts. 
Do you understand? And anybody with brains, even everybody bashing her, if you read what she put out there, you would find sense in it. You would be able to go with something at the end of the day because this woman is human. They think the world rev revolves around them. Sorry, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's your decision so to... why create space to, for yourself, to, to, create space to, for others Do you understand? Well. It's your decision but to say... But the truth is that the space has not yet been created for them. These people are not yet accepted by society. Who says? So to say that they have not been revolved, no, they have to have this kind of power, have this haven't. kind of conversation. I'm sorry, they've got to a level people, of acceptance. I think it's because people are just trying to... People haven't been fully accepted and that's why we're still fighting to date. Yes, we're still fighting. Today. So don't make it look like. And then the you see that one. there are some companies who are trying as hard as they can, like um, the Vogue um, woman that put out a statement and said that she's. Do you know how many years we have been fighting? When did they start this whole trans thing? No, it's it been, been a while. while. I yes. know it's been a while. It has been for a while. Can you compare to how long we've been black? Okay, what what will you say about people who are black and also LGBTQ? They have the two struggles. I don't see them too. <laughs> what I'm saying is that. <laughs> While we are having these conversations, also consider the health mm. of those that were born women or men and have decided that they are authentic that way. Don't give us mental health issues because you want to cure your own mental health issues. We need to find a balance. That's what I'm saying. The world doesn't. Personally, I think. I think. I think trans people and um, um, homosexuals are quite sensitive, as they should they be. They are being killed. Yes, they are sensitive. As they, okay. sh as they should be. We That's why I said as they should be, but at the end of the day... They have just... a high rate of suicide. Of course, they are sensitive. They are oh, trying to fight to for their own place we'll in the world. We'll talk about this maybe more in the next episode. Um, thank you for watching, and do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 090 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Thank you. As always, you go to my co-anchors, Nimide Gombi, and the That's Me guy, if you will watch Yes, that's me. And the entire production team, my name remains Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe and again, happy Democracy Day.